Czy zna pan powód kontroli? Czy zna pani powód zatrzymania? So you are pulled over by the Polish police. There is a chance they don't speak English. Maybe I'm wrong, but I've heard stories that some Polish police officers didn't speak English. So in that case, you can use, for example, Google Translate. You can tell something like, nie mówię po polsku, czy mogę używać tłumacza. And it can help because you can translate words and sentences in real time. And when it comes to the Polish police, what are they like? To be honest, it will be just my personal opinion, my personal view. Trust me or not, but behind me, there is a police car. I don't know, maybe you can see this. But a focus on the road. So it's legal to drive and talk, but it's illegal to drive and hold your phone. So we can talk like this, but not like this. All right, so the first question. Are they aggressive? Again, in my case, they were not aggressive. I know some people can say things like, they hate the police. The police is pure evil. And they always look for troubles. As we say, szukają wóza. O, szukają problemu. I am somewhere in the middle. I know a few Polish police officers. And they always say, be kind and we also will be kind. I know it should automatically work that way that they should be kind anyway. But as you know, we are only human beings. So you are trying to act like a smart ass. There's no swoje prawa. And so on. And you are trying to show them you are the boss. I don't know, it's not my way of acting. But let's back to the topic. What can they say? They will always be formal. So always pan and pani. Czy zna pan powód? Kontroli, zatrzymania, czy zna pani powód zatrzymania, for example. And usually they will pull you over because of speeding. Przekroczył pan prędkość. Przekroczyła pani prędkość. Przekroczyć prędkość means to exceed the speed limit. So pay attention to road signs sometimes. Sometimes you will have a feeling, oh, it's way too slow. I could drive way faster. But you should not. They can be everywhere. And bang, you will be fined. Another thing. Car lights. Światła samochodowe. You have to turn them on. Ma pan wyłączone światła. Ma pani wyłączone światła. So here, you have to turn them on every time. During the day, at night, if you don't, you will get a ticket. Something like this. Sometimes they also check if you are sober. So before they check you with this instrument, they can ask, czy spożywał pan alkohol? Czy spożywała pani alkohol? Or, czy pił pan coś? Czy piła pani coś? So in general, this question is, did you drink anything? You can say, yes, I drank a bottle of water. Don't say that. It's not the best joke in this situation. You should say, no, nie, nie piłem, nie piłam. Nie spożywałem, nie spożywałem. And now, it's not a joke. You should not. And again, it's my personal opinion and personal view. I hate people who drive their cars under the influence of alcohol. So if you do something like this, or you claim, you know, it's no big deal, come on, just one beer, one shot, please don't, or we won't be friends. And what about bribes? Maybe I drank something, maybe I exceeded the speed limit a little bit. They should be happy if they got 100 or 200 PLN. It should fix the problem, right? No, never ever try anything like this. I know there are stories that in some countries, somewhere near Poland, you can do a lot with a 100 PLN banknote, but not here and not in this case. So I believe in 99% cases you would be arrested. So let's sum it up. First, you should be nice. Try to be nice. Answer the questions they ask you. Take this that way. They also work and they do their job. B. Avoid speeding. Pay attention to road signs. C. Never drink alcohol before driving. And D. Don't try to solve things under the table. Bribery, just forget about this word in such cases. I mean, just don't do this at all. It's illegal, it's awful, and we should not do such things. If you have any questions, and maybe you have an interesting story, maybe you've been pulled over by the police, maybe you've been arrested, you can tell us about it in the comment section. Thank you. And if you like this episode, just let me know about it. Bye-bye, see you next time.